Okay, let's talk about the categories. Petroleum-based, oils and so forth, biological proteins, synthetic dyes, organic, and other. Organic-based stains, moving on. Coffee, mustard, remember we did mustard earlier, wine, furniture stain, urine, tea, curry, fruit, fruit juice, chocolate, ketchup, What we need is our oxidizing bleach, stain magic for these. We extract, we wear rubber gloves with this. We don't have to rinse it out of synthetics. Some carpet dye may get removed. We do not use stain magic on natural fibers. It's too strong. Stain magic, as well as that 40 volume peroxide, they're unstable. So don't, don't store your stain magic on top of the hot water tank. Because heat will just speed up its degradation. We say this for so if you screw up a carpet, it's not our fault. You're supposed to always check in an inconspicuous area for color fastness before using. Well, that's absurd because are you going to do all of that and then do the spot? You just, you just take your chances. Extract the spot, get it dry, equal parts of A and B, or use the dual chamber. This is the key. That mixed solution can be, should be used within about five minutes. Don't ever mix it with red relief. Apply it liberally. Here's some grape juice spill. We could have wine. I think I got some wine pieces over here. Coffee, same deal. I treated some coffee earlier. Piece of carpet that's been uh, where I spilled a bunch of hot coffee containing sugar and cream on it. And again, step one, as always, is to extraction rinse with your upholstery tool, or in this case, I'm using the Tempo. And as you can see, I'm removing, oh, maybe half of it. But I'm still going to have a stain, and the backing is definitely still going to be there. If it's extremely heavy, again, I could use my water claw. Here, I'm going to use my Stain Magic in the Dual Chamber Sprayer Kit. Let me just show you a little bit of how this works. In this case, I'm going to fill it up. I'm emptying out my bottle that's labeled Part A, checking to make sure I'm going to pour it into the empty bottle that's labeled Solution A. I'm going to fill that up, and I'm going to do the same thing with the Solution B, filling up my Solution B that comes with the dual chamber kit. You need to be sure to wear rubber gloves so you don't get this on yourself. It will definitely burn your skin. And I'll insert my sprayer, making sure that the tube that's labeled Part A goes into the bottle that's labeled Part A. And then it has a locking mechanism that I lock it in place, and I'm all set to go. Here I'm saturating the carpet piece with the Stain Magic. 
with, because of the dual chambers automatically mixing parts A and B equally. And I'm going to spray it until it's absolutely saturated and I know for sure it's down into the backing. And as you can see here, I'm showing you the backing now, and as you can see, even in a few minutes, it's already bleached out not only the front surface, but also in the backing itself, which is my major concern.